Pat, good to see you on. Uh, someone who does definitely have commitment in what he does. He is a rugby union coach, uh, development coach, uh, doing some superb work uh, to help athletes out there and improve their performance. Um, yeah. He's done it himself. He's challenged himself on, on various different levels. And, um, you know, we've seen the results on, on what he has experienced. So well done to Pat. Tony, in terms of our second point that we want to talk about, are you committed today? Um, what is, is the belief to achieve that idea? I guess we always talk about the whole idea of, you know, what do you want? How badly do you want it? But do you actually believe that you're actually going to achieve? Well, in a lot of cases, they don't. You know, it, it reminds me of a um, uh, reminds me of a saying, uh, which is um, uh, change happens. Uh, when the pain of staying the same becomes greater than the change itself. So uh, change is hard, change is hard because we're going to do something different. We're going to uh, create new neurological pathways and we're going to fumble at it. We're going to suck at the new thing that we're going to do. But when you're um, fed up with your current situation, then that's, uh, that's, when, that's when the trigger goes and, and we want to make a change. That's the initial bit to get started. Right? The next bit then is the belief side of things. And that's why people tend to fall off because they'll start off filled with um, belief but it's it's it, I call it pushing right we're pushing towards something as opposed to being pulled towards something it's far easier to be pulled towards something than it is to push towards something so because we haven't thought about our what our why our beliefs we go you know what I'm going to get in I'm going to lose some weight not thinking through the the deep connection as to why that's the case two weeks in three weeks in four weeks in it all becomes a bit hard because I'm constantly pushing i consciously think i want this thing but subconsciously i'm not convinced and that's the whole side of beliefs and so we have to change our belief pattern we have to i said it before we have to change the pattern you can't just go and have a heart attack and then expect to come and do different things you've got to change your which is your mindset that's why we're here uh, each and every sunday because that's where it starts you, you know your external events or these other events if you don't go and change what's going on inside your head it's, it's never, ever going to, I'm to really, happen. I'm really interested in the space of uh, belief and confidence. Um, I recently did a training course, and it's really interesting to see uh, how people are improving through the training course. And it, it goes back to that progress over perfection, Tony, which we talk mm, about mm, a lot. Mm, mm. And they just lack the whole belief that they're improving. They lack the confidence in where they're at. And mm. they keep putting themselves down around it. Like, Tony, that mm. is kind of like, for me, it gets into craziness. I'm, mm. I'm aware about the reality that I am progressing, that I am mm. not by any means the like astute about what I, you know, the, the training I'm doing, I'm not at a massive high level, but I know that the improvements there constantly. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, and you, but you have the, also have the desire as well. Um, I was actually had this conversation with my daughter last night. We went out for uh, for dinner. Um, you shared a post uh, yesterday that I did. I don't know, I did it ages ago. And, uh, anyway, and, and and thank you for sharing it, by the way. But you shared it, that one where it's uh, uh, you know feeling lacking confidence. Uh, you know, and it said just start. So I, I think it said uh, how you're feeling, confident, just start, or or lacking confidence, just start. My daughter said, Dad, what, what does that all mean? And so we had a chat about it and I said, well, because we had a driving lesson yesterday morning and, and she went the furthest that she's gone uh, yesterday, which is pretty cool. Um, but I said, well, how, how did you feel before you drive? She said, I didn't, I didn't feel confident. Uh, I said, well, what did we do? Well, we just drove. And I said, huh, that's it. You know, so you don't, you're not going to wait until the perfect uh, moment. It's like, just go, just go mm. and, and things will happen. But just go with the spirit of plus one. The spirit of just do one extra thing, just one. That's all. Just wherever you are, just do one. Do another. Do another. Look, when you string thirty of those in together, then that that's that's a month's worth, and that's phenomenal. And you'll look back. You'll look back over that time, and you go, "Holy wow! I've really shifted whatever I'm trying to shift because of just gradually, 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 gradually." Bill Gates talks about people will overestimate what they can achieve in one year and underestimate what they can achieve in ten years. And that's the answer right there. It's like people try and I'm going, to, I'm going to climb a mountain and get a new job and blah, blah, blah. Or I'm going to do all these and what things. what happens, Tony? What happens it Zoom. Zoom. All, it, it, all, it all fall over, right? And then we, and we throw hands in the air and we miss a day. We miss another day. We miss another day. And then it becomes all too hard to, uh, to, to, to go back to whatever it was we're trying to do as opposed to just do a little bit. Just do a little bit. And you know what? 
if you have an off day, if you, and I had a, a week before last was a dreadful week for me from a, from a mental health point of view. I was all over the place. And, uh, but you know what it's about? It's about recognizing there are going to come times when you just need to be kind to yourself and you just need to um, recharge uh, and then go again. And I, I feel awesome now, right? But I had a, you know, I had a, a challenging time going on for me, but it's about just take stock of the fact that I wasn't where I wanted to be and that's okay. And that's okay. And now what, what am I doing, uh, you know, very, very differently. But it's about just small things, small things, small things and recognising that you fall off, get back on. Fall off, get back on. It's, it's, a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. That's right. David says you, you are both committed every Sunday to, the, to give us mindset values for so many sessions. Hats off mm. to you. Thank you so much, Dave. Very excited. Thank you. Um, which is really good. So we, we already talked about how badly do you want it um, and what do you want and yeah. what your belief is to, to achieve that goal or that idea or that, uh, mm. that way of life for yourself. And Tony, my third one is around what are the small steps of consistency to make that happen? Now, you know, you just referred to get up, try again. Mm. Always takes me back to a kid learning walk right yep they don't give up yep they don't yep. give up that little kid that it, you know in all of us mm. didn't give up all the way back then why are we giving up today yeah because we're not connected to the outcome so it doesn't just apply to kids walking i used the example of my daughter just a moment ago um, she is she is absolutely committed to getting her license why because she has a goal and it's called freedom from mum and dad. So it doesn't matter what the goal is, but she wants to get the hell out of there, right? She wants to be able to do her own thing. And she knows that she's got to go and do a hundred hours of driving and that uh, that way then she gets her uh, peace. So she's connected to and committed to that particular goal. And that's what it comes down to, Luke. It comes down to get clear on what you want uh, and get clear on why you want it, right? A lot of us consciously want some things, um, but we don't really know why we want that uh, certain thing. And then it's about the belief side of things and constantly challenging your beliefs because we all have a mind that has a negative bias and it would much rather we sat on the couch, took it easy and didn't really stretch ourselves and didn't really grow, right? Our mind would be at its most peaceful versus you've got to believe that you can do things. Before you started getting involved in property investing, you'd never done property investing. Before I started getting involved in property developing or small business, I'd never done those things before. Why is it that we start? Well, we had a goal. We were committed to doing it. I got to a point where um, something had to change uh, in my life and, and I was not going to let that up for anything, right? And so I kept going, I kept going. Did I believe on day one that I could make it happen? No, no, if I'm truthful, no, I didn't. But did I grow into that belief? I do little things and little things that I'd look back and go, huh, right? And constantly just rewarding myself from a mental point of view uh, and go, you know what? That's pretty damn cool. Like what you did today is pretty damn cool. And over time, it grows. Whereas people want to go from here to here instantaneously. I want people to go from here to here, to here, to here, to here, to here. And guess what happens when you do that? You have phenomenal success. Yeah, look, you know, I know at the start of my property investing journey, um, I made some mistakes on that. I yeah. could have chosen to give up at that stage and never do it again. Yeah. So many people I've seen do that same thing. They do it once, they hold the property for three years, five years, it doesn't make any money for them. They have bad tenants, they give it all up and they go, Property's no good. It's the worst asset ever. Then mm. in 10 years time, they go, I wish I held onto that property. I wish, I wish I'd bought more properties. Yep. Okay. Yep. It's, it's again, what, what, yeah, the technical term for that, Luke, is, um, is oscillating. So oscillating. So what that means is, have you heard of the term yo-yo diet? Yes. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so and, and maybe for your viewers, and maybe not everyone has, um, but, but what that means is that people will start a diet and, and it might be, let's say that, I don't know, the Atkins diet, right? I'm just going to make something up. Um, and they'll start a diet and they'll start fill, filled with commitment and enthusiasm and, you know, I'm going to make this happen. And then they'll get to a point and they'll, they'll hit a hurdle. They'll hit another hurdle. And what happens is they'll then rebound back. And what they'll blame is they'll blame the diet. They'll say that diet, so Atkins diet, is shit. I'm now going to go and do the five and two diet. So they'll do that diet. And they'll start that and they'll start with filled with gusto and then they'll, they'll hit a hurdle 
and they'll rebound back and they'll say the five and two is crap. I'm going to go and do something else and something else. So same applies with your example around, uh, you know, wealth creation. They'll start with property investing. They go, no, property investing is no good. You know what I'm going to go do now? I'm not going to go and get into cryptocurrency. No, that's no good. I'm going to go and get into shares. And that's no good. I'm going to get into, I don't know, selling things on Amazon, whatever it might be. Here's the thing. It's not the vehicles. It's not the diet. It's not the wealth creation strategies because everyone's creating success. In, 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 there's plenty, sorry, not everyone. There's plenty of people creating success in property investing or in crypto and plenty of people doing different diets. That's not the common denominator. The common denominator, that's right, is the individual. And the common denominator is what's going on inside their head. And that's why we do these sessions every Sunday morning. Don't exactly. We? That's exactly. why we get on here because it's all up in the mind. Exactly. Exactly. And, and I see that all the time. And it comes back to people are starting for the wrong reasons. Right. So get clear on what you want, but get clear on why it is you're doing that. Get the right reason. And to help you with the right reason, some things that you can ask yourself is for what purpose, right? So you might say, okay, why am I doing this? Well, I'm doing typically people say, I'm doing this to but create financial freedom or money or whatever it might be. They're typically the immediate responses that I'll get. For what purpose? Go and ask that five times, right? Go for what purpose, for what purpose, for what purpose. Like get really, really, really deep with this stuff, right? And I'll guarantee you money won't be the answer, right? It might start off as money because that's where your head's at. But I'll guarantee you when you dig, 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 dig and find that thing that's going to be your North Star that's going to spur you on because your journey will be filled with ups and downs and downs and downs and maybe a little bit up and down. There's something in front of you that just, it just, it's, it's, it's a magnet and it's pulling you towards it uh, each, each and every day, uh, even in the face of whatever's going on around you. Tony, we're getting on a lot of love, so he must be saying some golden uh, words right now. Sunil has just come on. Big shout out to Sunil. Helped the team at Search Party Property yesterday when we were doing a bit of a video shoot. Um, right. He was attempting to put a bit of an IKEA flat pack, flat pack together for us. As right. A an analogy around, well, do you try and do it all yourself? Do you actually use the instructions? Do you test and try things? Or do you actually use the team of experts to help you and get things working for you? So big shout out to Sunil. <laughs> well, there's so many analogies. There's so many analogies in that, right? And maybe one of the one of the future uh, future topics is are rules meant to be followed or are rules meant to be broken? You know, and uh, and I'd I'd love to. Yeah, let's come back and do that another another week because that is a whole other session in itself. Most people grow up going, well, rules are meant to be broken. But um, in fact, if you take the IKEA flat pack example, there's instructions for a reason. You're meant to follow the instructions. You're meant to follow the rules. And with um, creating a business or property investing or property developing or um, you know, creating wealth on shares, whatever it might be, succeeding in your job, there are rules. There are rules that you need to follow. That's just that people don't always follow them. Yeah, I, I, I just get a sense of like, uh, I'm just harping on words a little bit, but it's like follow the process or follow the instructions, right? Yeah. Rules for me is something that someone else has created uh, where they put, you know, people in a box almost. And there's cool. like, you want to jump out of that box sure. for the status quo or the, the general idea of rules in life. Well, like, the, the, rule, the rule there is if you, it's more um, if you feel you're in a box then what's the rule to get out of the box, right? So what's the process to leave my job? So I have a goal. I want to become a solopreneur. Awesome. There are rules that you need to follow to do that. Does that make sense? And so it's, a, but yeah, and, and I, so I deal with a lot of uh, franchisees. Um, they've gone in, they've bought a system, right? They've bought a system. And so um, in that system, that it's laid out for them exactly what they need to do. The most successful franchisees are the ones that follow the system they just follow it they don't have to think about it it's like on day one do these three things on day two do those three things on day three blah, 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 blah. And, and it just it's all laid out for them the ones that that have have an average business are those that yeah we'll start for a bit and we'll stop we'll start for a bit and we'll stop and I, i've got a need now and a, you know, give it a go and then i'll stop those that just consistently follow the rules follow the system blah 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 on it goes not sexy quite boring actually but guess what? They're phenomenally successful. Yeah, and, and the boring things are often <laughs> the ones, you know, things that turn out to be successful, Tony. 
Like that, like I just talk about property management, it's boring. Like once I got the deal, it's done. Next. Right. Um, yeah, David says, I've been following my heart and my mind, but not the process. Well, obviously he is aware of that. That's mm -hmm. a good place to start, isn't it, Tony? Mm -hmm. Isn't yeah, ab yeah, absolutely. And, and David, uh, you're going to get back on board to follow the process now, David. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And constantly remind yourself, you know, and you've got a wonderful, uh, wonderful opportunity that you want to create uh, with your business. Um, but it's about what I've got to do to bring that out of the ground, effectively. Um, you know, because the opportunity's been there for a while now. And so, how do you bring all that to life? How do you bring it to life and and get that 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 project going? Well, it's just, it goes back to the commitment, which is our topic today. So yeah. as we wrap it up today, it's great to have everyone come on here, share their thoughts, share their feelings, um, enjoy some of the content that we're creating there in terms of the commitment that you're thinking about for yourself. So really think about those items of what do you want? How badly do you want it? Is there belief in what you want to achieve? And what are those small steps of consistency to make it happen? So David, those small steps of consistency, agree, life is so much easier, just follow the process. Follow the process, follow the rules, like Tony said, the success will come. Whatever you're trying to achieve, someone's already done that something. Like, like let's be, you know, we, we're not Elon Musk. We're not trying to put, uh, you know, a, a rocket ship on uh, Mars or whatever it is. So someone's already done what you're trying to achieve. Follow the blueprint. Follow what they're doing. Follow the rules. What is it that they did? How did they do it? Um, you know, they've, they've, uh, success leaves clues. Follow those clues and you're going to have uh, a phenomenal business, phenomenal wealth, phenomenal happiness, healthy, whatever it might be. Nice, simple, easy. That's it. There you go. Great. Go forth and, and a couple each. Very good. <laughs> All right, guys. Over and out on this Sunday morning. Hey. Have a great week ahead. Bye. Bye. Now.